Welcome back. I'm Jay. We got Steve right here. We're, today we're talking about your pictures. That's right. Happy New Year. This is the first helmet submission video of 2020, man. Yeah, so Happy New Year. Yeah. Uh, thank you so much for all of the support that you've been giving to us. If you're new here or relatively new here, uh, every Sunday, pretty much, we yep. do one of these videos where you send in photos of your helmets. I talk about the helmet. Steve's a professional photographer and videographer. You should see some of the stuff he has in his house. It's unbelievable. I can tell you how to make it more awesome. He can tell you it's how true. to make it look more awesome. That's a good way of putting it. Yeah. Uh, so let's just dive right in. What do you well, say? First, if you oh. have not submitted a photo of your football helmet yet, whether it's a collectible helmet, the one that you wear on the field, if you're on a team, if it's your old one from high school, 50 years ago, whatever it is, <laughs> P-I-C-S at GreenGridiron.com is the email address that you want to send them to. So first up, Daryl. So he says, hi, I'm Daryl, and I'm the starting sophomore varsity QB. I've been watching your videos for a while. Um, go Rams. Okay. So with me, you're getting my initial reaction to this. Looks like a ram helmet. It sure does. The LA Rams, uh, they actually have, th their horn, ram horn is licensed. Oh, so, so when you see ram horns that are not uh, LA ram horns, they're not exactly the same. Uh, and yeah. it's really hard to tell. I'm going to say that these are probably going to be a little bit different. People make comments about how they receive helmets or they have helmets uh, and the vent holes are covered up. And it's like, well, what most teams will cover the vents. Yeah. And to be honest with you, you tell me, if you're a football player, do you think those vents do any good whatsoever to dissipate heat? It's a good question. You know what I find interesting on the back of this? It has, he said he's a sophomore. Mm -hmm. So that's year two. And I'm mm -hmm. wondering if these corporal stripes, like if they go up as they play, is it like hmm. where they eventually get sergeant stripes and then like, so that's interesting. That would be cool. And then if you make the captain of the team, you get a captain's, exactly. captain's bar. Yeah. Anyway. That would be really cool if that's what, what happens. So uh, Daryl, let us know. Is there any kind of... Uh, God, I, I love... I love these pictures. I love how he. I don't know. Do you love him? So how much good. do you love him, Steve? I love it like a nine. Obviously, we could do 3D bumpers. This one has regular bumpers. Uh, the St. Louis Rams, we, su we supplied them with 3D bumpers. Um, we could do some things on the back of the helmet. Do we have a, a U.S. flag on this helmet? Doesn't look like it. No, so we can have a U.S. flag. We could take off that manufacturer's warning label and we can put on one that kind of matches with the whole theme. Overall, this is pretty good, though. I'm going to give this guy a 6.5. Okay. I like I like your consistency. Uh, I'll take it. All right. Thanks, man. Next up, Albert. All right, Albert. Let's see what you got here. Dude has turf in like his yard. Do you see that? Oh, that's nice. I wish I'd get my grass look that good. I guess I could. I so put go, that. I should go buy some. Put yeah. some turf down. Nice pictures, too. He so picked got, a nice little spot. We got an 808 face mask. Yeah. We've got a Nike visor with sho white shock visor clips. We have a white Sports Star uh, Speed Flex adapter with what appears to be hard to tell, but looks like a, just a regular Riddell hard cup chin strap on here. Uh, what else we got going on? We've got some decals, bunch of award uh, awards on the back, the number. We've got a looks like a Chrome uh, U.S. flag that he probably got from. Green gridiron, so yeah. appreciate the love there. This is a great setup. Lots of little things done to it. Yeah, that you, you, yeah, you can tell that the the logo on the side was kind of put on there in a way that it fits between all of the vent holes, so mm -hmm. it it's not covering anything up. Plus, it was put high enough so the chin straps straps don't cover up any of the logo. And if I was doing a helmet from scratch, that's what I would do too. I wouldn't yes. want to have my logo covered if I couldn't help it, and I wouldn't want to cover up any of the aesthetic design cues of the helmet. I agree. This is a great helmet, and it's quietly like a $700 setup <laughs> by the time you're done adding oh, yeah. all that on there. So nice nice pictures too. Yeah, I'm going to go with a 7.2 with this guy. The, face, the uniqueness of that face mask bumps it up a notch for sure. Yes. Yeah, nice job, Albert. Well done. Next up, Saxon. He wrote in, uh, so hi, I'm Saxon. I play 12U football, and this is my helmet from Volcano Vista Hawks. Tell us what, what you think about the background here. I don't like it. I don't love it. I mean, I appreciate that he went outside and took pictures in a daylight, but I'm parking cone, bro. 
maybe he wanted to show. Maybe that's part of the story he's trying to tell. Maybe he's like set it up as like a course for him to do practice drills yeah, and stuff. The, that's the gauntlet behind him there. I don't know, man. <laughs> <laughs> Get it out of there. Uh, aside from that, it is what it is. Yeah. Trying to give him the benefit of the doubt. <laughs> Uh, okay. As far as the helmet goes, uh, I like the the claw marks for the stripes. Yeah, uh, I like the big hawks on the side. That's it's kinda, angry. Yeah, it it is angry. Then there's an, an angry hawk face on the side of the helmet as well. Um, we've got what looks like a Nike visor, pretty generic mm -hmm. uh, uh, visor clips. Kind yeah. of look at everything else here. Yeah, I, you know, I like the white and black theme. We got a couple of colored. Only really, there's only a couple splashes of color on here, so I kind of like that. You got the ribbons on the back. I like the, the kings, of, kings of the North decal. Oh. I wonder if that's like a little homage to Game of Thrones. <laughs> what else could it be? I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I guess it, it could have been around yeah. for a long time. Overall, I think this guy, again, this is very similar to the first uh, two that we saw, except for... Uh, no fancy face mask like the other one. I'm going to go with the 6.4. Makes sense. Yeah. Ne makes sense. Yeah. All right, next up, Ben. Oh, these are cool pictures. All right, Ben. Ooh, Ben's got some things going on here. Uh, so, Steve, you love the flag in the background, right? I love the flag. I love the contrast of the colors of the helmet against the mm -hmm. flag. And, I mean, it's the Packers, right? So mm -hmm. it's kind of an iconic American. It's just a really nice, smart way to take the photo. Well, as a, as a Lions fan, the, oh, the, yeah. the Packers, not really, you know, the fact that it's a Packers helmet isn't doing anything to get me all warm and fuzzy. Yeah. Uh, but I do like all the decals in the back there. It's nice and you know, symmetrical. Yeah. Uh, we got the chrome U.S. flag. Uh, we've got a Packers 3D bumper that was looks appears to be a speed Packers bumper that then was cut to Made it to, work. to work around the teeth and the back of the uh, bumper of the Shud F7 helmet. Oh, dude, cut every single slice mm -hmm. for the F7. Mm -hmm. We know how fun that was. <laughs> you know, that's one of those things that when this is sitting on the shelf, that's going to look good. Yeah. Up really close, you can kind of see that they're not perfect, not perfect cuts, but it's so hard to get perfect cuts. We've got yeah, the is. we've got a Stabilizers colored. It looks like he um, sanded off the Under Armour logo. As far as sanding them down, we've seen people do that. This is the best that I've seen somebody do that. Yes. Sometimes they just look like they were. It's mauled. not. It's not something you just say. Oh, let me just go sand it down. No. You kind of need to know a little bit about. I, that was a pain in the balls. Or maybe he just went through a few as test, test samples, getting at that to that point. Great work. I'm going to go with uh, 8.6. Nice. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Ben has the high score so far. All right. Next up, Max. Oh, I was thinking of you with this because I know how much you love helmet on helmet decals. Yeah. I can't remember what that's called. I, there's a term for that where yeah. the thing is actually part of the thing. But anyway. Yeah. Um, Look at that center strike. Obviously the most famous, we, we, we've mentioned this before, is the, the older Miami oh, Dolphins yeah. because the Dolphin has a helmet yeah. in the logo so goofy. on the helmet. If anybody can think of what that's called, right. leave, leave a comment comments. below. Yeah. I guess nobody got it last time and I don't remember. <laughs> um, so, a couple of things about this helmet that I don't like. Okay. I don't like those twist no. things on the, 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 tw the face mask. The twist, uni the clip. twist off, twist, you know, uni clip at the, in the top front of the mask, even though it's a little bit better because this one's black. Um, I prefer just to have two regular clips there. That's my own personal preference. Uh, I love the chrome decals. I think that that looks great. I mean, as far as a red, white, and blue look, this one's nailing it. Yes, it is. It's a really nice stripe. You know, Shut does something that I wish they would stop doing with the those, it's those big warning labels, and they put the little... So nice. Barcode, a QR code. Oh, yeah. Who the hell even uses that? It's well put together. I'm going to go with a... I'm going to go with a 6.7. Now it's time to use that thing. All right, next up, Simon. And he wrote in, I think this is... Uh, so, hi, I'm Simon. I play defensive end for Volcano Vista. You guys are basically my whole setup with the face mask, strap did, lock adapters, did, blah, blah, blah. Didn't we just talk about somebody from Volcano Vista? We did. Why? That's weird. Um, so, and it looks cool as heck on the field. Yes, it does. And thanks for buying stuff from us. We appreciate it. Look at this thing, dude. Well, this is certainly not the same 
helmet as the other one that we talked about from Volcano Vista. No. No. This thing is tired. Here's, here's what I love about it. Everything is monocolor, right? Yeah. Or monochrome, I guess. So it, everything about it is black. It's, we got the blackout bumpers on here. We've got a black chin strap, black face mask. Uh, we've got some black, uh, you know, the standard hardware all comes black. So that's mm -hmm. all kind of nice in the look there. And then we have silver decals. So cool. He used a Sharpie marker, what it looks like, to put his number on the helmet, 35. Hey man, you gotta they, make it work. Whatever you gotta do to get it on there, I guess, right? <laughs> that school's gotta spend some money on he, decals. He has the same feeling as we do about the warning labels. He just took a flag and stuck it right over it. <laughs> America. Yeah. That's right. I love it. Stamp, even put it, it's a little bit crooked. Compared, yep. you know, on there, doesn't yep. matter. No matter. Um, there's another, it looks like an airborne, is that an airborne? Yeah, it is. Over there, so there's gotta be some kind of connection there. I wonder if this is from a semi-pro team uh, where he was, you know, airborne. Yeah. Army. What's up with that? He he has Snap um, Sports Star adapters on there. He's missing. Oh yeah. He's missing a post on this one. Yeah, yeah. What's up with that, man? Yeah, this. I mean, this helmet has. What's this over here? I don't know. Got something there with the red. A lot of things going on. I kind of like that. I I really like. You this. don't. It's some, the stuff that you don't notice at first. I think that's kind of cool. Uh, overall, though, uh, yeah, I'm gonna go with a 7.0 on this one. Ooh. I don't know. I kind of. There's something about it. The, the, there's so much going on. It makes you it kind of draws you in to make does. you look more. Makes you want to keep looking. Yeah. Thanks, man. Next up is Evan. He wrote a long thing, but there was a reason I put in here. Oh, this is cool. So he plays um, for Shenandoah High School, better known as just Shen. Breast cancer awareness. The, the sticker on the left is one that the team put on to honor our team photographer's son who is deployed in the Air Force. Okay, gotcha. I got you. So that's that sticker. Oh, that's a cool sticker. Pretty basic, but that sticker oh, yeah. really pops with the yellow. It does. Right? I mean, that would be a cool design to have all the nice big and blown up on the side of the helmet. Mm -hmm. uh, so I think that's cool. Other than that, everything's pretty basic. Super basic. SF 2EG face mask or 2EG2 face mask. Um, I'm not seeing anything that's jumping out at me. We've got some snow or slush, slushy ice. Yeah, lots of people taking pictures of their helmets on the railings of their deck with trees in the background. Yeah, kiss, I'm okay with kiss, that. Kiss, kissing up to Steve. Hey, man, you made it on the show. You're not. Gonna, I don't think that that hurts me in any way, shape, or form. Nah. Yeah. You uh, like being outside. How do, like we, how do we upgrade this guy? We could do a visor. We could do uh, American flag on the like. back. Yeah, where's the American flag? Yeah. What's up with that, man? Again, another one. See the chin straps? Yeah, we got some rabbit. Oh, we got to cut the cut the corners. Yeah, there's that. So there's a, they go to a point. Time to upgrade to a cam lock, like yeah. you said. Yeah, you know, if this, if this helmet goes back into service next season, I'd say, yeah, let's get a cam lock chin strap in there. You're, you're, you're going to like it better. I'm going to go with a 6.4. Everything looks good with raindrops on it. Cool. Good job, man. Is next up. Everything? Most things. Yeah. How would you say this? Myron? Sure. Okay. M-Y-R-O-N. I would say Myron. These pictures are nice, and now they were watermarked with some photography thing, which I normally am not a fan of. I left it to give that person their due props. I can't really read it too well, though. Um, but this it, picture on the side is... <laughs> is that like... I mean, you, you tell me. Perfect. Like 1.4? Like 1.2? I don't know, because if you look it's at... super, super. If I had to really guess, I would say 2.0. Because, yeah. yeah, because some of the decals in focus, even some of this front bar is, and if it was like 1.4, like you'd have one little band of focal. This might be 2, 2.2, but it, it's great. Colors I, are spot I on. I love it. You know, I follow some photographers on YouTube and Instagram and all that just because I want to be a better photographer. Mm -hmm. And I can't tell you how many of them are very the professionals are very cautious to say hey, don't go to extremes you're not a guy you're not an extreme no, guy. I'm not yeah i like the extremes <laughs> if you could bl i don't want to even know what planet you're on i'm fine with that <laughs> i like it yeah okay well so. you know. i mean listen the picture of the, the helmet on the side looking to the like three o'clock it's absolutely perfect really nicely done i i love it what's interesting to me here is uh <laughs> This is not a helmet that I like as no. far as the type of helmet. This is a DNA helmet. I don't care for the DNA, but man, this is the way you take kind of, we'll call it a garbage helmet. <laughs> wow. And, and, and really make it nice. Like, this is nice. That, that's like, you know, back in the you know muscle car era, taking Ugh. like the Chevy Nova and dropping a 700 horsepower engine. Just put make some, it a sleeper. 
Oh yeah, yeah. and then it, and then it smokes everybody. So yeah, but but that's the similar kind of thing. So we've got a very nicely done painted face mask where the the it's a one inch red decal going over the top, and then it's a one inch painted stripe coming down the middle of the face mask. And I think that he chose this face mask with purpose to make sure it has that bar going down the middle. So you get that because if that bar is not there, yeah. You don't, you, get all, you don't get all that red paint. And you need that red paint to really show that you're extending that stripe down. So this is a South Carolina State uh, designed helmet. I don't know if they've ever worn something like this. I don't think so. But, and the reason I said it is because we've been working with the guys at South Carolina State for face masks for quite some time and I don't think we've ever done any designs like this. That, that's not to say that, that they didn't get them somewhere else or they used them some other way, but we've got, this is a painted helmet. We've got, we've got a lot of, you can see the flake in the paint. And it's just does, it's just a great job showing what you can do with a blank canvas that's not that great, in my opinion, and making it something that's to pop and it's got a lot of wow factor. Yeah. So I'm gonna go with a um, 9.2 on this guy. That's the highest you'll ever see this helmet get a score of so Probably. far, yeah. Really good work. Okay, next up is John. All right, John. I, I, I like it. Of course. And it's rare. Oh, boy. Here we go, John. Hey. We got a, no wonder Steve put this one in. We got a Giants fan. That's, that's one good way to get on the, uh, get on the show. Doesn't hurt. So he, what is, he got some nice Bill Parcell stuff back here. See, he was a fan in the 80s, man. Early 90s, too. This guy's... I wonder he, if this is John that sends in a bunch of other stuff. Um, I think this is great. So this is the NFL 100 helmet. We were actually thinking about stocking some of these, and we, we chose not to. But I think it's, I think it just, I mean, it looks nice. It does. The gold's nice. It looks good with that green gridiron logo on there. Love Thanks that. Going to get points for that. Yep. This isn't something that's going to get a pick. No. Because this is basically a, you know, it's a collectible out of the box that he's then gone and embellished. But I love the embellishments he's done. He's got the you know the the green gridiron branded chin strap. He put in a red Under Armour visor in there. He's got nice. Which again, he kept it gold black with just the visor yeah. being the color, gold and black. Hall of Fame and a nice kind of a classic. Type yeah, fly. yeah. The same thing with the H O F up front. Like I think he made them. I don't think they come with them. Oh, they definitely don't come yeah. with those. So um, great work, man. Really good. I want to go with it. Eight point five, hundred percent. Next up and last already is Noah. All right, Noah. Wow, oh. Noah is really going crazy with the rabbit ears on this guy. Oh yeah. So it looks. Oh yeah, you're right. So we've got a a, a green gridiron box. I'm curious as what came out of that box. Obviously, it's too big, too small of a box for the helmet. I'm gonna guess either the chin strap, or yep. the he's got the adapters and probably the face, maybe a bunch of stuff. But yeah, Maybe. You're, you're right. Time to get that face mask recon, man. Yeah, typically that's a box we put face masks in, but maybe he got some other stuff that we needed a bigger box for. And we got uh, another guy here who's using, who's just using marker. To yeah. his, to his number on the back of the helmet. He's using marker. Pretty, this is a pretty basic setup. He's torn off the warning label, so the back looks a little bit cleaner. Yes. With that, of course, handwriting the number on there makes it tough, but he did. But you try. notice, and he tried using the orange to match the mm -hmm. decal. Like, that's kind of cool. And this is definitely, a, a what I'm going to say, a kid. Um, it better be because it's a youth helmet. So I hope you're, right, I hope you're on mm -hmm. the younger side. And I love that he just set this up, like, on his closet, mm -hmm. but used a flash or some sort of light. Like, that's not hard. Thank you for doing that so we can actually see what you submitted. <laughs> I didn't even notice that, but I'm not looking at that, Steve. That's why you're here. Yeah. I'm going to say... I, here's what I want to see that's going to cost zero dollars. If you're going to go rabbit ears on the top, go rabbit ears on the bottom. Why not? Sure. Especially in his case because he actually is pulling them off. Yeah. So we got the Sports Star uh, Speed Flex adapter in there. We got, looks like, some white Sports Star buckles on the bottom. And yeah, just curl those things back. You might have to train it a little bit on the bottom for the bottom yeah. straps, but this might be a pretty new, looks like a relatively new chin strap. It's the. Sports star, T Rex, Hurricane, Victory, yada yada yada. Um, <laughs> yeah. So that's not that's a nice upgrade on there. I'm gonna go overall because we do have a couple little pieces on here, and he's, oh, yeah. you know we, we love showing off our brand he's a little bit too. So let's go with a six point eight. Very good for that guy. Next Very time, good. 
let's make a couple of little tweaks and we'll take that helmet up a notch. Throw a visor in and you're set. And you're all set. Yeah. So we already are starting to pull the ones for next week, but there'll be plenty more. This is episode 35. Thank you for sending in your pictures. If you didn't make it, you can submit them again. It's okay. Just email them to picks at greengridiron.com and we will get to you, hopefully, eventually. Yeah, P-I-C-S at greengridiron.com. Yep. Again, Happy New Year. Thank you so much. We're really excited for big things coming up this year. We've got a ton of helmet builds and all that stuff. Some really, really stuff stuff you've never seen anywhere before we've got in the works. Um, yeah. So listen, leave your comments below. Like, subscribe, click the notification bell for more videos like this. Until next time, cheers. Cheers.